Hello everyone, my name is Marcus and I'm a designer and animator. So, and today we're going to be designing this poster here. It's really cool. We have like this very dynamic type happening on the screen and like you have like these blends happening as well. We're going to learn how to actually switch, use the blend tool and also replace the spline to create this really cool effect. So let's jump in. So let's create a new document, 1700, 2400 and just press create. Just wait for it. My computer is quite slow today. Just going to keep this on the side just for reference here, just so I know like more or less the position. So to start, we're going to select uh, our code. I think the one I use is make it make your move. Okay. <laughs> so let's just make our move first, like make uh, the type. Just going to make and then write your move perfect and i'm gonna make all caps go to character all caps and change the real nice font so let's just close this together doesn't really matter because i'm gonna expand it but you know why not let's select it and then change to a nice font maybe i'm gonna use studio vexen font yeah sounds like right and cool without type uh, created let's go to object and then expand Fill an object and fill, press OK, right click and ungroup it. So now what we want to do is actually just uh, invert this. So we have the stroke in black and then we're going to fill in white. Let's make the stroke a little bit thicker, maybe three points, perfect. Now we're going to just like make this like a nice composition with the type, something like this, to make it very dynamic. Maybe I'm oh, actually going to start like this, so it starts high and then the K comes here and then the E, perfect, and then just zoom out a little bit, Y, O, U, R, just try to make it as, as dynamic as you can, it doesn't, you don't need to follow like exactly what I'm doing, but just try to make it like as interesting as possible for sure. And then this will be in the bottom, so this will be on our up. So yeah, I definitely need maybe to reshuffle things a little bit here. Maybe scale this a little bit. Just trying to make it more spaced. So we have space for everything. We're gonna keep moving this later, but you know, it's like the first impression is, like the first layout impression we have is always important. So let's just make this, so this goes here there there and there cool so right now it looks really nice i think i'm actually really happy with this so the next thing we need to do is actually just select a one letter and then go to edit copy and edit paste in place and then just drag it down select both letters and then go to object blend and make and then we can just go actually in the blend tool here click twice specified steps and increase the number of steps maybe something like 20 steps will be enough. Press OK and do the same thing for letter A. Object, blend, make, and then increase to 20 steps as well to make sure we, they all match. And I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining letters. I'm probably going to speed up this uh, video now so we don't need to wait for me doing this, okay? Cool, perfect. We just finished making the blends on all the letters. Now we just want to adjust a few of them, so it actually looks nicer. And great. So I actually really like the way it is right now, because it already looks like very, very interesting to see, to look at. And just maybe just push this together. I think it's like visually, just like this, it looks really cool. But I want actually to make it a little bit more interesting, add a little bit more definition into this poster. So as you can see in between the blends, there is like this line here. So this line here is like a, we call it a spline. And a spline still be in a vector and you can actually add and reduce points on it. So let's just go back to our pen tool here. And over this spline, let's just add a little point. And let's just move it like this. So okay, as you can see now, the blend actually happens on this really, really nice curve. You can actually change it. You can add as many points as you want. Imagine you want to actually to make it 
even more interesting, you can just make this and still adding as many points as you want. I'm gonna try to keep it simple a little bit for now, and but I will definitely make this in all of the other ones. So right now, like I'm gonna make maybe smooth this curve here. I'm gonna do the same thing for the letter O, like here. I'm gonna change the direction. See, as you can see, it looks already really much more dynamic. I do I do not mind when it was like very like vertical, but I do love when it's like a little bit more definition and I like this like level of of like detail. So as you can see, I actually increase the number of blend steps because when you actually add more points, actually the, the steps getting further away from each other, and then creates like this weird like not really cool visual. So I like to increase the steps sometimes like this, maybe thirty. And let's do the same thing for the other, the letters, trying to make like a nice composition. Maybe we'll move this one, this point here, maybe I'll move it up here. And I'll leave this here, try to smooth it out. Need to increase the number of steps. I'm gonna increase to 30 as well. Perfect. And do the same thing here, I'm gonna actually drag it down here, add a step here. I just select the curve, see if we can do this here. Perfect. Let's just make it smoother. Add more steps. Something more like this. Perfect. Do the same thing for the letter M. Just add a little bit of movement there. Again, increasing the steps. Maybe next time I will actually already start with a lot of steps and then I reduce it if I need to. I think it like as you can see, like generally it's looking really, really cool. It's very dynamic, like this kind of worms happening on the screen or like like trace of movement behind, you know, like if it was something really quick happening, this would be like the motion blur behind it or something. Let's just keep doing it. Maybe I will make this K going that way, just like K going that way. That's a good one and make this like that now maybe i actually want to make it like as constant as i can so maybe something more like this again increase the number of steps here to 30. same thing for this one maybe this one actually i'm going to keep it simple i'm not going to add any points there just trying to move the e to the side here still going to increase the number of course something more like this and just the r missing and the bottom letters just do this gonna move this up here maybe this one actually can do something more crazy maybe and another point let's see how it looks and then we'll smooth these curves here select these points and then smooth it out increase the number of steps and let's see yes looking really cool actually M just change the M to somewhere else oops uh, just zoom in really quick maybe actually not too much there but maybe some somewhere here I'm gonna add a point in this could add a point in this M as well, just like this. Try to make it a little bit more dynamic. Perfect, we're almost there, actually. I was going to speed this up, but you know, sometimes I get really entertained as well, just speaking and while I'm doing this and explaining like on the go what I'm doing. I think sometimes we, we lose a little bit of conversation like when I just speed stuff up because it's like I'm not explaining why I'm actually doing some compositions and sometimes actually thinking when I'm doing them. So I, I don't know if you like when I do speeding up videos, when I'm doing like a repetitive process or if you actually like me talking with you for a little bit. Cool, and just this one. So, okay, let me know in the comments see what you think. If you should just speed up these repetitive post uh, steps or if I just still should just, you know, get a conversation and you know, you get to know me a little bit better and I wish I could listen to you as well. So maybe I'll start doing some lives one day. 
like YouTube lives because then I can actually read the comments live and it will be really cool while I'm designing. And if I have any doubts, I could actually just, you know, connect a little bit better with the, with the viewers and with you, of course. Let's just do this, add a new one there. And almost there. This is the last one. I think, yes, it is. I'm going to leave it harder and I'm going to increase the steps just a little bit. Amazing. Finish it. So yeah, this is like the, a little bit repetitive, I know, but it's actually important too, because then I can actually show you what I'm doing and while I'm doing it. And last thing is actually, not last thing, like next thing is let's double click over the blend here. So we can then copy, let's go to edit and copy. And let's just paste in place the letter and then we can just invert. We take away the, um, the stroke here and then we just invert it here. So we actually have like the black um, letter here. Let's just go back to the to the stroke here. Actually, I think the stroke is a little bit too thick. I'm probably going to change that in all of them. Maybe make it one. Maybe not. Maybe one is a little bit too light. Let's just try to make it two then. If this if two works, I'm going to definitely speed this up because we don't need to see that happening anyway. Yeah, I think two is a little bit better than the one because the three was a little bit thicker and I don't know, didn't, didn't felt right. So I'm going to do that really quick here. I'm going to change all the strokes to two points and I'll be right back. Okay, suddenly I remember I could actually select all of them and then just go to window, stroke, and then change everything to two without doing it one by one manually. Cool, I saved some time there. So now let's just do it the same thing again, get the A out and then make it black like this, the K, make it black this and the E same thing do this for all the letters and just just do it out really quick oh actually I'm using the command C and command F to copy and paste in place sorry I forgot to tell you that I don't know if you know that shortcut yet but it's really it's really cool, saves a lot of time. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for shortcuts and for saving time when I'm designing. Because like designing is like a, it's a process, so as a, the, the quicker you can make that process happening, the better. So, shortcuts are here for that. Let's just make this. Da, da, da. Make your move. There we go. Making my move. And really quick really quick actually i think and i really i just need to change the background i think i prefer this one this new one you just made to the first one i showed you i think the high definition on the steps really helps maybe i'm even going to increase a little bit this one like to 35 maybe just to see if it looks better but yeah it's it looks really cool i'm actually really happy with this and let's just make the background so it matches a little bit more with the reference Let's just make it this, bam, 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 gray. Perfect. And, and yeah, let's just delete this one. I don't need it anymore. Let's just enjoy this one for a, for a moment, right? <laughs> yeah, so what's really cool, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. And I hope, like, if you enjoy, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, share with your friends and your mother and your family. And uh, yeah, share this, this this channel. I'm really trying to to make something here like happening, and just try to share my some techniques and you know connect with people as well. So yeah, if you enjoy, again, sorry to tell you again, but like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope I see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.